I mean, we are here for two semesters and we are actually living here, mm. but it's still different from moving here, it what is. we are doing. I mean, I really like the people, I really like the landscape, mm -hmm. I like the climate, I like the sea. <laughs> There's a lot that I like, all the castles, yeah. just... Maybe it's also because it's so new to me, you know, mm -hmm. it could, could wear off a bit the excitement after, after some years. I mean, you get used so to everything. everything yeah. yeah, that's true. I mean, you could, you could say that about every country, but um, I don't know. Would you want to live in Scotland? I never lived abroad before. There was only one home I had ever known. But for my studies, I decided to go on exchange for one year, becoming a student of the University of Aberdeen. Coming here, I was wondering, how quickly would I call Aberdeen my home? Would it depend on the time period I would stay here? And what makes me feel at home after all? On my way, I got to meet many other international but also Scottish students. The question of belonging being a topic for all of us. My name is Eli. My name is Alexis. My name is Amanda. My name is Robin. I'm 28 years old and I study anthropology. I'm in my seventh year at the University of Aberdeen. I'm German, but I was born in Scotland. And the reason I'm German is because both my parents are German and that gives me automatically German citizenship. E even though I'm German, technically, um, I haven't lived there, so I haven't really picked up a culture really that much. I don't really know if a German would see me as German, it doesn't really, I don't think that really makes sense. Well, Scottish people certainly assume that I'm Scottish. I mean, I'm not a citizen of this country. I'm not even allowed to vote. I wasn't allowed to vote in Brexit. Thankfully, I'm allowed to vote in Scottish elections, but it's like, it's a bit spotty. I'm 21 and I'm studying anthropology. I'm born in BC in Canada and that's where I live. Uh, I was in India from when I was 5 to 11, so it was around like 6 years. I would say that I have two homes. I'm 47 years old and I live in Aberdeenshire and I've been here 11 years. I was born in Yorkshire, South Yorkshire, so north of England. I'm 24 now and studying International Human Resource Management and I'm doing my master degree. I was born in China and now I live in Aberdeen and just near the university. It's a little bit hard for me at first to get here because everyone, I, I didn't know anyone and, and the culture, the culture is kind of different with where I come from and have to find a way to fit in. But I think I did a great job. I mean, I made some friends, I communicate with my flatmates all the time. That's the reason why I Along with you. It was intentional to try and get settled. Um, it was a conscious effort. I went to the village hall. I'd never been in a village hall in my life. I went to a community meeting and somehow offered to do a community newsletter, which then meant I had to meet everybody in the community, the school, the church, businesses. Getting settled was pretty good. I don't know. I've been to a lot of different places in my life so I feel like that helped me with this experience. This is the first time I've done it like all by myself though. I think coming here I've been the most homesick because I guess I was by myself. And I think a lot of things that were, have been changing at like home in Canada so then those changes kind of affect you more and then yeah just growing up in a different stage of life and yeah you miss home more. Sometimes I do miss my home, especially when you feel really upset or depressed or when you when you got sick, you really miss your home just to what you just want to be with your parents or be with someone that you love. You just need them so much. I don't think I've ever felt homesick in the past on my travels. I think particularly because it always seemed an adventure. I think it was more sad for my parents. If my daughter went somewhere else, I will be really upset and I'll be the one feeling it and she won't feel a thing and it will be fine for her. <laughs> I, I would have said some years ago that I would stay in Midmar forever, 
but things do change. Um, I think it's not a place you can live when you're a lot older. Also, a few friends have moved now and my daughter's gone to a bigger school out of the village and you realise that your ties aren't as tight as you thought they were. So although I love it, I think maybe when my daughter goes to university I might reflect and move somewhere else. However, I have no idea where else will be. Well, I don't imagine I'll be staying in Aberdeen for the rest of my life. I mean, just want to finish studying here, maybe do postgraduate studies, maybe a PhD, but if I get that far, but uh, I think I'd like to move somewhere else eventually. I don't feel that attached to the city. I, I feel like Aberdeen is a place that I'm visiting. It's not necessarily home. I think home has a lot more to do with people and I guess length of time too is part of it because I know that I'm only here for a certain amount of time. So it's different, like if you're going somewhere with the intention of staying longer, then you can make it more of your home. I would say Aberdeen is a place I I live now, but I probably won't say it's a home for me. For me, home is more like you stay with someone you love and who loves you in in a place that you own it. You don't rent the house. You you buy it and you actually own it with someone. Well, I think home is not necessarily a specific place, it's more about how you fit into where you are and how you're accepted and how, how you can give back to the community as well. For me, I'm realising now as I get older, it's n not about the place, it's definitely about the people and the relationships that I have as to whether I call a place home or not. Okay, I think someone would say it's home for them when they stay with their friends. But for me, it's more like you stay with someone you love, you love so much. In my future, in my imagination, I would stay my home and I'll, with, I'll be with my partner and our child, maybe children, I don't know. I feel like the connection, yeah, is again, it's less, less of the actual place and more of like the people. The place has something to do with it, but I think the experiences that you've had with people make it places home. A place where I could stay forever. Well, I think a place that fully includes people of all nationalities, there's respect for everybody, respect for different cultures, and allows everybody to participate equally with respect to, to have a say in everything that affects them. I think that would be necessary for a home. I thought I already wanted to go abroad and live here since the first time I came here. So, so actually live here for the rest yeah, of the I, I thought, so you want to move I here? I really thought oh, I that know. after coming here yeah. the first time, I was like, yeah, and when, I, when I get up. old, I will yeah. try to you know, live abroad. Mm -hmm. And now I can fulfill that dream a bit. Mm -hmm. But since, I don't know, the last two years, I felt so much more connected at home. Yeah. So that I, I'm not that sure anymore. And now I realize how much it is about the people yeah. you're around. It, I mean, landscape and everything, it's, it's great. But yeah. it won't make you feel that happy or you know, yeah. rooted yeah. to a place. Mm -hmm. Like you belong there. Yeah. It's more about yeah. the people. Thank you.